Oh, it's, it's the same one. Hopefully it's another win. Oh, well. Oh, well, might have to. So, for the benefit of YouTube, um, this is the guy who just conceded pre, pre-inducements. Uh, like in the inducement phase. Um, and this looks like it could be a loss, doesn't it? Because he's got Blodge and Rodge on his ghouls. He's got a dirty player, he's got 12 players. He's got a block mummy, a guard mummy. He does only have one guard. Um, rematch of the century. Now it's only 10 k now it's only 10 difference because he lost a fan factor, I got one, and I got a skill. So that's the 50 difference. Because Lemon is good, a lot of people like Sage like to plan out their players to legend. And when they get a double on somebody and get panning on Mighty Blow, they take that double and make it jump up. And then wait, you know, an extra an extra fifty one an extra forty five star player points until it will be good. And like jump up isn't bad, you know, you can you can catch people out with it. And uh I don't really have to try and score on a blizzard. But then I don't want to get banged on in the first half and not have a team to score on the second. So I guess just receive, go for a draw. <laughs> try to draw. Yeah, solid sage advice. Nah, I, I don't know if I don't know if Sage would do it, but Sage does like to plan out his players to legend. That was that was all the example was. Whereas I like to just, you know, imagine that it won't. Funny in it. Need to receive kick. <laughs> Use all time preferable con connection issues. <laughs> God, yeah, make everything optional. That's a good shot. <laughs> yeah, kicking when you got 12 isn't such a bad shot. But... I don't know, I just kind of want to get... want to get the advantage, don't I? With, like, claw and stuff. This isn't such a bad setup here. Default. Yeah, you know, seeing as he conceded pre-kickoff, it might have been connections or he might have just pussied out. And if he pussied out, then obviously hitting with Claw Mighty Blow, hitting his mummies with Claw Mighty Blow is a very good idea, isn't it, if he just pussied out. Obviously, gotta hit him with claw. Not even a choice. Try to get a three dice on him. Nah, I don't think so, Blaine. I really don't think so. But it's. It's not good, is it? I mean, it's a, he's still in a, he's in a very good spot. Right, <laughs> right, happens straight away. Let's <laughs> uh, <laughs> buy the other one. It's a riot. <laughs> Oh, 
baby. Pretty good. Blow hit. All right, let's fucking go. Time for the most important action of the turn. Regen though, hasn't he? He's regen, that's why there's no cutscene. But still, it's good getting him out. Can't, can't feel bad about that. Gotta roll the pickup, because mm, I just don't want it to go out, do I? Do I have to re-roll the pickup? I'll screen it, I think. Seems like a good good shower. Do I have to reroll the pickup? See now this is this is this is this here. I could make a YouTube video out of this. This here is why the 15 second thing is shit. Right? Because I've got two minutes here. And what I should be able to do is just go over there and make the pickup. And one in three times I'll have to think. Do I use a reroll to pick it up? But instead, because I've only got 15 seconds to decide, I've got to literally sit here and think for a minute about if I'll reroll it, if it even happens. It's fucking terrible. So anyone who defends this 15 seconds to use a reroll can just fuck right off. Because this is perfect. A perfect demonstration of how absolutely shit it is. Um. And it's just horrible because I don't even know. Because if it goes in the crowd, it's terrible. It's only three out of eight to go in the crowd. And I guess if it goes in this way, it's all right. And if it goes in this way, it could end up pretty bad. If it goes in that way, it's not that bad. So, okay, I guess I can go for it. No need to reroll the pickup. But it's just so dumb that you've got to do it. <laughs> yeah, YouTube short of that, yeah. Yeah, well, exactly, Tony Blair. That's what somebody said, yeah. That's what somebody. That's what somebody. That was what somebody actually said on the on the thing, and it's like I don't have to decide whether he's real before making that move because I can just make the move and then decide, don't I? It's, it's just it's just oh my god. It's just basic maths, isn't it? If you've got to think for a minute every time, even though you only fail one in three, it's just inefficient. Now I wouldn't have re-rolled. In the end, I decided to go no re-roll for Lenik, just because the... Uh, just because... Exactly all that for nothing, exactly. And in two times out of three, it's going to be for nothing. So... It's just fucking dumb, isn't it? Because that that's a, that was a minute of thinking on on a maybe, which means that if you do that three times, you've got to think three minutes, haven't you? <laughs> um, instead of one minute, because you should only have to think if you fail it. Yeah, exactly, mile. Yeah. Yeah, just basic maths, isn't it? But yeah, the movement seven did pay off. That would have been a three plus GFI. The reason I obviously decided not to re-roll was if the ball goes in this way, it could have gone crazy. But not that crazy. But if it goes here, it's all right. If it goes here, it's all right. And if it goes here, it's probably a good thing, isn't it? So, yeah, I just decided nothing really bad could happen by failing the pickup. All 
right. Could get the guard in. He could block him and chain him out. Could maybe two dice to the other guy, but I guess it's a lot of work, isn't it? I guess it would be easy just to go one, two, three, four, five, and then back one to here. He could go one, two, three, four, five. So that should keep him safe. Or he could come around to there. That would make it more safe. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> oh wow, all the schools, that was a great bug. Holy shit. Right, he can go here now, can't he? Or here? No, he's gotta go here. But now he's totally safe. Fully screened. I didn't mean to go over this side, did I really? Pretty good. Two blocks, two guys. Not bad. Could have killed him on me, yeah, could have done. It was a bit of work though to chain that guy away and then get it and it was a kind of a long way to go to hit the mummy, so I don't think I could have got saved. Piece. Yeah, very good this game, Kiss of Ten. It's because he went four games without doing anything, that's what it was. <laughs> He's regretting not disconnecting. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, he probably didn't disconnect on purpose. If, if the disconnect was like a concede, then he will be, because obviously if you're going to concede on the inducement screen against Chaos, you'd not really... You're not up for a fight, are you? Yeah, this is crazy, isn't it, Coley? I mean, pretty good day, to be fair. Pretty good dice against the dwarves, and then pretty good dice here, too, so far. But still, plenty of time to go wrong. <laughs> and definitely can't hit the... The worst part of it was making him safe means that I definitely can't hit them on my next turn. But maybe I could, like, go... One, two, three, four, five, six, and then getting back to make a blitz on the mummy next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be ideal. Yeah, he does hate using his mummy as well, yeah. That's true. Oh, God. <laughs> Cars no region. He's down to 10. Loving it. I mean, I could just blitz his mummy. Three, four, five, six. He could come all the way around. Right. 
So you can come to here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Still not ideal, is it? It's kind of tricky to hit him now, though, isn't it? It's a little bit tricky. Two, three, four, five, six. So next turn, get to hit the mummy, hopefully. Well, well worn in grenade. Piling on is the best protection you can get. So yes, piling on. Yeah, <laughs> protect the claw more than the ball. It's more important though for winning the game, isn't it? That's how ridiculous it is. All right, thanks, Lil Bath. That's weird, freak. So he's he is blitzing him, but he's got he's got to make a decent commitment to blitz this guy. And obviously, when he does blitz him, it just means his mummy's going to get hit anyway. So interesting strategy, Cotton. I guess it works out. It's not it's not easy to hit the mummies, is it? Maybe I should have gone for it with the guard when I could have done. And it's easy to say that anyway after getting the fucking cars in it. Gotta blitz them gotta blitz the uh Gotta blitz the fucking guy anyway this turn, haven't I? With this warrior, probably. These two can both get them out of the way. Get an assist in there. Two assists in there. It's fucking rough. It's actually not that easy to do. Right, safe moves first. There is one I can do. Maybe it's better to free this guy up, put the guard in. Smash, blitz. See what happens here. Thanks for that block, buddy. Yeah, so block him. Get the guard in. Get the assist in. Blitz him. Hmm. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? All right. So now I can think about the ball. <laughs> Should be okay. Have to push him there because of the jump up. Oh man. Breaking AV like it's nothing. Oh, what the fuck is this? 
<laughs> He's probably thinking, holy shit, he should have conceded. Wow. Yeah, this is the insta concede guy, yeah. He had a one on the bench. Should do Duran if I'm gonna roll like this. Fucking hell. <laughs> what a crazy match. Has he not moved? Oh god, I didn't realise I left him there. Might be worth fouling the goal, yeah, because got they got the reserve. And can't regen. Can get big assists. It probably is worth that. Might be worth it. If only, uh, if only my internet would work, so I could look at Squirrel Dude's uh, foul calculating thing. Let's just go for the three dice at first. Oh god, a pal. Hey, I've got a, I've got a foul. <laughs> Just literally have to foul. I can't, I can't not foul. Um, could put him with a guard so that it's still safe. as many assists as possible this guy can just is just free though so he's gonna have to run out of here one two three four this seems like a good spot for him He's on five. He's on three. Wow. Not sent off for a stun. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's true, the dead sound, yeah. Yeah, games like this. Well, this is okay, though, because this was a really tough match. I mean, it still might be tough second half. Like, it's still going to be hard to stop them scoring and everything. Not even dead, what the fuck is this shit? Because he's going to get two mighty blow blocks, so it's probably not worth getting somebody sent off. But he is a blodger, he doesn't have regen. It's pretty tempting. Have to be sensible.
could have greeted that, I guess. He's got ten max, but I mean he can easy he can easily remove two on the yellow ass. He's already got one out anyway, so nah. I think I think not fouling was correct, to be honest. And obviously made the the ball really safe. Not so good with the mighty blow guy being at the blitz by the mummy, was it? That wasn't very good. He hasn't gone for it anyway, though, for some reason. <laughs> he decided blitzing with a mummy was more important than a mighty blow, uh, mighty blow mummy. <laughs> good for him. It was! <laughs> what a fucking genius! There you go, what do I know about Blood Bowl there? Eh? Blitz with a... Could have blitz with Mighty Blow. Doesn't get a kill. Yeah, the double over is cut. It's unlikely to be a loss now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this guy does like using the moves and I do fuck all, yeah. <laughs> That's his, that's his, <laughs> that's his, that's his, uh, preferred strategy for his move. <laughs> Stand around, do fuck all. <laughs> Didn't even dodge away, this, this fucking, this little fucker here. Alright, obviously I've got to go for it, haven't I? So it's, it's going to be hard to lose now. You, you obviously, you could, you could just make six cars on the LOS, in which case it would be a loss, hundred percent. But still, it's unlikely to be a loss now, isn't it? Three, four, five on the LOS. Three, not on the LOS. On the bench is five, good. Hmm. Yeah, I quite like the Space Invader setup. Use it. I mean, well, it's it's only because I saved it, but um, it's good against like some. It's good in some. It's good in some situations, isn't it? I really hope the double LS doesn't make it last. I mean, got a reserve anyway, but Apple's gone. And he is on ten.
could be down four men to the set now. They could happen. I mean, the mummies are likely to at least get one out, aren't they? Yes, yeah, zero heroes used by either team. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. You'd expect them to get out one or two, wouldn't you? Hopefully they get them out um, this half rather than next half. If they're going to be KOs, that is. Well, no, this half anyway, because I've got the reserve on it, so... If they're going to make any removals, let it be this half. It's much more devastating to get lose players at the start of the second half, isn't it, than the end of the first. It kind of looked like he could have been trying a one-turner, didn't it? There was a point where I thought he was going to try the one-turner, but I'd be okay with him trying it in a blizzard um, with agility three. And, you know, obviously it means he's not getting knockdowns with mummies, doesn't it? So. Got to re-roll that. Both down and no balls. Wow. Didn't both down it. Could have made it a three dice. There you go, I should have kept fouling. Shit. What a shit cunt. It was only one foul that I think I missed out on. Yes, why, why, uh, why make it a three dice block when you can try to get your dice sent off? Yeah, fair enough. I think I just want to go. I want to just try and fucking defend. Hey, he's disconnected. <laughs> yes. Yeah, with me on reserve, yeah, that was just literally horrific making that foul. That foul was terrible, wasn't it? That was the perfect example of terrible, terrible play because there's just no value in it at all. Even if he kills a skillless beast man, it makes no difference because he's got the reserve. The only thing that can happen, the only thing that can happen is that he gets, uh, he's, he ends up nine against 11 second half. That's the only, that's the only possible outcome. It's, it's 10 against 11 or 9 against 11. There was no upside for him whatsoever. Awful. Oh, no, okay. No, he could have killed him. He could have killed him and then he could have got he could have got up to 11. All right. Scratch that. It wasn't... <laughs> while it was bad, it wasn't completely awful. Um, he could have got... He could have got a player and got, the, and got up to 11 then. Why did I put the Beastman? Because he was dead. TLC had block. He was 12 star player points with block. I mean, you could, if, if it was a developed team with a Claw Palmer and a, you know, a Bludge, Sure Hands movement guy and all this kind of stuff, maybe I wouldn't have done that. Oh, shit, he's back. Um, but realistically, um, no players are that good, are they, in this team? I can't change myself. 
god, what the fuck is this? Warriors 3, they can get blitz, so could go one further back. Kind of easy to go through the middle, but then can hit him from both sides anyway. Four skills, two skills, one's the best one. He's probably not going to blitz with one anyway. Yeah, he had block, yeah. It was the 12 star player point one. El Fago, it was. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Pedro. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the skill of zombie blitz instead of a mummy blitz, like, the fuck's up with that? And then he got a kill from it. Yeah. If it had been a skillless beast man, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have appoed it, no. No, it was, if it was skillless, even a five-star player point beastman, I wouldn't have appoed, but realistically, he's one of my better players, isn't he? Well, like, the, the two better, he's the third best player, effectively, joint third best player. I guess it's rare to level up a warrior, so you could argue he's the sixth best player, but still... But yeah, absolutely, absolutely would not have rerolled the rookie one. Alright, oh, good. Shawnee, are you ready to do the uh, the analysis of Zung versus Dog, Shawnee? <laughs> it's a masterclass. Just quietly. Good move, not making that three dice block. Well played. <laughs> okay, show me. <laughs> a week's good we could do it with the weekend give Fash a week's warning to, to, to actually stream Yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting strategy, isn't it? But stand around doing nothing with the best players on your team. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he's thought that through, really. I don't know why he's playing undead. Seeing as he seems determined to not use his mummies. Oh, I failed the short hand. I'd love to blitz him, but there's no way to get safe afterwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. That seems also horrible. 
could base up these uh, these dickheads. <laughs> Can't seem happy with that turn. I unfortunately base doesn't work, but herp derp does no. Herp derp works. It was hard to hit the mummies, really hard. I couldn't really hit them. No, I couldn't hit the mummies that time. But still. That, that didn't work, did it? It should have worked. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I am on the right. Burr, burr, burr. I can totally make the. Uh, there you go. That way. I just, I just manually did it. I don't know why it's not working. It should work. Now, now his mummy's exposed, isn't it? Very much so. Look at the suspense here. Spring into action on movement ten. Well, it was too far away for me to give a fuck about it, wasn't it? Like he tried, he just failed the failed the one in nine pickup, didn't he? But it was too far away for me to do anything. And then I thought if I put a lot over here, he'd uh, he'd like care about it, and then I could uh, I could move over. It'd be all right. GFI. Now Ben, he's in the way, so I can't hit the mummies. I'll put somebody there, block him. Follow. There's a chance. Assist in. I'm gonna just stand him up. Block him if it's a pal. 
then we're good. Safe moves first here, just quietly. Okay, that, that was effectively a pal. <laughs> So I couldn't do him yet. All right, here we are. Most important action of the turn. Shit. I would board down on no balls if he didn't have block. <laughs> Thanks to the good old camera move. He's down two players now though, isn't he? So look, oh, but I'm down one, yeah. So ten versus nine. And unfortunately his mummies are making blocks. But two stuns could really uh, could really open things up next turn. Yeah, I was joking. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really bore down if he didn't have blood. <laughs> Obviously not. I just said that. Nah, he's doing the old elf store. Not maximizing blocks, really, is it? Oh, it's got break tackle. Wow, so he, at least he's dodging with a mummy. Oh god, that was terrible play. That was actually just terrible, wasn't it? Even with break tackle. I got excited when he uh, when he made the dodge. Because I just thought he, he was being an idiot. But, um... <laughs> that's just fucking terrible. TBH. TBH fans. So can uh, can completely ignore this guy. Lots can happen here, can't it? Could go there and then rely on him blocking, but I think that's a bad move. Do you know what? I didn't do safe moves first, did I? I did not do safe moves first. Didn't stand him up. Didn't move these over there. Because I wanted to see what had happened with this first. So, once again, didn't look at my sheet. Safe moves first. Terrible. Terrible not standing him up. I just assumed that a 1 in 81 wouldn't happen, and you just can't do it, can you? I, like, it happens 1 in 
one in 81 times, you can't just assume it's not going to happen. Hello, Dante Kellis. Uh, no, not going great. Yeah, exactly. No, I was just like, I can hit both mummies. Didn't do the save moves first. Not standing here was terrible. Not moving these across was terrible. Just terrible blood ball. Really terrible. Don't block with your mighty blow guy. Just uh, blitz with a blitz with a non mighty blow guy instead. I mean, but as bad as he is, what I've done there, not you know, thinking thinking that you're not going to roll a one in eighty one chance is just fucking stupid. That's the thing, isn't it? Oh, I'll start here. Yeah, it's fine time to end there. I'm just mad because I'm bad. Mad because bad. I can double G if I hit the ball. Or, no, not anymore. Can two dice blitz him though? Time to actually do some safe moves first, then. It's going to be a GFI, whatever happens, isn't it? So, one, two, three, double GFI might be the play. TBH. Could blitz him and serve him, but I just don't think there's any reason to. Full loop pack. Yeah, surfing the zombie just doesn't do anything, Fistful of Steel, that's the problem, isn't it? I need to have greed back on, don't I? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do greed now. Sound effects. He's going to do the pass, isn't he? He's going to do the pass for the touchdown, and he's just going to roll all the dice, and it's going to work. But four turns to score with a man advantage, hopefully. Maybe possible. I can't believe he's just doing the pass instead of the handoff. A mad cunt. Not punished.
Yeah, his chances were a lot better with a handoff, yeah. Right, but still 11 versus 10. He's done a fast play. That really cost me the air uh, not doing safe moves first the turn before, didn't it? Really cost us. Um, but still, four turns, two rerolls is well possible, isn't it? I said that during. I wasn't playing for a draw, but I thought a draw was a likely result. Put it on the paper, what's that? Oh yeah, put it on the paper. I'm fucking me, I'm stupid as fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, put it on the paper. Oh man. Please don't get better that star player playing serious <laughs> probably. Oh yeah, kicker, yeah, shit. Yeah. A kicker. But the good thing is he can start off. To be fair, the kick is a fair point. That is a fair point. Card in there, two dice him. They all block that way. God could go in there, then he could go there, and then he could blitz and retreat. It's an okay kick. You can't do a lot even with a perfect defense because I can always blitz with the uh, claw, can't you? Why is that beastman hanging back there? Because, thanks to uh, Smoko saying the kicker can be a problem. So, put them back there, Bosh. Like, he had to kick deep, didn't he? Because with four turns, that's not easy to score in four turns for Chaos. Especially with a deep kick. Four, you, you know, four turns is a lot harder because it's going to take you one turn to get there, two turns there. Four turns, you need to have a pretty rapid advance to score in four turns. Or a handoff. So if he was, if he had a lot more to lose by making a shallow kick. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's going to get the ball and get up to there. Let's just go up through the middle. Is the he can free him up. His plan's got to be to get him around, isn't it? So, but I do want to stay as central as possible.
huge. kill here yeah I would have done but I just wanted the safe move one two three four five six get him forward gotta go got to reroll the pickup obviously because Time is of the essence why I spend it alone. Oh, shit. LL Cool J reference for you there. Hello, man, I raise. Um. Yeah, it's look well now it's gotta be a pass or a handoff, hasn't it? I don't believe you were on this team to be honest. Cause these are all fagors and I'm pretty sure I didn't there was I'm pretty sure there wasn't a mana ray fagor. Or it might have been a mana fagor, but it there wasn't one. Yeah, been pretty shit pickups, yeah. Well, this is my fault for for not not protecting against the one in eighty one. That was it, wasn't it? Didn't do safe moves first. One in eighty one, and drew or lost because of it. Um, fair enough, isn't it? You can pick up from hand off this turn. If he does just pick it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's just two G phase, it's probably better still to just him keep it, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, two G phase for him, so it's better for him to just keep it at the moment, even after the failed pickup. Obviously, if this fail, I'll probably just lose because he's got the, the fucking cool in the backfield. Glorious! 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 Thank you very much, Colonel West. Thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Right. For the sub. Okay, he can stand up. He can stand up and get in contact. He can also get in contact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want him to be there. to be there. Him to be there. This is GFI for him. Yeah, so can't can't even attempt that. He could go there, 
You could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you could just have dirt base base him. I've got a base him, haven't I? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if he's here, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So it's two GFIs. Obviously, it's better to delay them so that I don't fall and give them the ball. But on the other hand, if I don't delay them, if I go here and I fail it, at least there's a chance for somebody to catch it. I think I don't make them yet. Though. I think I'll wait. Yeah, I do. I do know. But that was it. I had to. I had to hedge between moving him here to screen, or um, covering against the fail pickup, didn't I? I guess maybe I should have just done that. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a dodge and a GFI, isn't it? Yeah. It pushes me nearer the. End zone, doesn't he? He's just gonna blitz him. It'd only be a one dice. And that's the thing, you can't do both. I didn't, just didn't have the players to do both. He was the he was the decoy octopus in the middle, to maybe you know get him to just hit him because he's got a claw guy. Which he did well to avoid that trap, to be fair. But he hasn't done a whole lot with everything else. He's moved the mummy the right place. I guess I'll have to do a GFI next turn with the ball. Just to uh, make sure he can get push and still spin range. Yeah, well, it, it's hard to say, isn't it, Pedro? It's re I mean, it's really hard to say. I guess it was only one in nine to fill a pickup, so I guess I've got to assume I'm going to do the pickup and the screen. Yeah. I guess the screen was the better option. On the balance of probabilities. But then, on the other hand, <laughs> you know, if I had screened and then failed the pickup and the ball's in no tackle zones and he just picks it up and scores... I'd feel fucking bad, wouldn't I? So it's uh, it's really not as simple as all that. Where can the ball go? Three, four, five, six, seven. GFI could get the ball to here, but then or here could blitz him to facilitate that. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI to there, blitz him, and try to get. Him. I really don't like that idea. Because he's break tackle as well, isn't he? I think maybe blitz this guy, and then smash everything in the middle is the best, best bet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double GFI to there.
he can go to there, then where can he go? There. It's pretty rough. However, if we can try to do anything, he could go there, and then could have the ball there, and he could just one dice to get two dice on it. I think that's got to be the play, hasn't it? Can do GFIs at the end. Maybe made a dodge or whatever with them, but all right, got half a chance. Could have just blitzed with the mummy, yeah, he didn't even have to do the one dice first, yeah, you're right. You can't blitz with the mummy with break tackle though. Oh, not for, not for sub, but, oh no, okay, right, yeah, okay. Sorry, being stupid. Yeah, the break tackle can't do anything, can I? He didn't see it, I didn't see it. The funny thing is, though, I, I missed it, right? And if I was watching, I'd be like... I honestly was looking at this and just kind of thought that the ball was here and he was going to have to block him one dice first to do it. So if I was watching me, I'd be like, oh, my God, what a fucking terrible play by Jimmy. And I'd be insulting myself. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, he, he was still a little bit of a blitz, obviously. Yeah. So you know, like I'd be, I'd be insulting the fuck out of myself if I was just watching. But it is different, isn't it? When you're playing yourself, you get kind of, you get tunnel vision and you see things, and then you try to avoid something. And then, when you're watching it, it's obvious that that was fucking awful. But um, Claw Mighty Blow, yeah. That was a bit bad having to mark with a Claw Mighty Blow, wasn't it? Holy shit. I don't know what he's going to do then. Dodge away with a Blodger and then go for the one dice with a Ghoul. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I really wish I'd made the, had the balls to do the GFI. Oh, he's not going to fail the dodge. He's got to re-roll, it'll work. Yeah, he does it in the first try. Of course he does. <sighs> yeah, so I, I, what I probably should have done was not move him. I just wanted to move him, but there was no need, so I should have done those GFIs first. Then he could have made the GFI to go there. And then he might not have been able to do that. So that was a misplay. It cost us the game. Brilliant. My favourite kind. Right, so he blocks him and gets him away from the ball. He blitzes, dodges out, and then he dodges and passes. It's very Lupakian. I can't say I'm a fan of it. But I don't see anything better. He could block him. He could get two assists and then blitz and go in. No, right, so that's possible, isn't it? He blocks him, 
These two come in there. Um, this, this, then this would have to be a pal. Block him, block him, and then dodge. Yeah, maybe that's the best dodge. Yeah, so what? Blitz this guy. Block this guy. Blitz this guy. Do an irrelevant two dice first. And then just dodge. Into double GFI. That might be the that might be the safer play. That's better than any handoffs, yeah. To be fair, that's better than any handoffs, isn't it? That wasn't relevant to that, is it really? It was a good game for star player points this game anyway. Oh ho! -ho! Alright. Thank you, Lemon is good. Good spot. Flap fart for the win. Thank you very much. Ah oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to do something way too fucking clever and stupid at the same time, man. Go. <laughs> Flap fart too good. <laughs> I'll reroll it anyway. Can't get worse. Even though, like, it can't really get better because it's got to leave 150 anyway. Um, Thor, if I go, the dead guy got MVP. Brilliant. Base, base, base. But yeah, base, got a lot of armor breaks armor there. Break. And decent amount of uh, SPPs. Yeah, I can't believe the GFIs were an actual win, yeah, crazy, yeah. The one guy I didn't concede. I forgot someone had died anyway when I said it was there's no point rerolling, but there was a point rerolling, wasn't there? Right, so I don't know, I guess he'll go I guess he'll go block or wrestle. Maybe wrestle, because I'm really struggling against dodge players at the moment. So he could go wrestle, he's quite close to then getting tackle. Um, and then we can have a raffle for this extra beast man to go back up to 12. Um, and yeah, there you go. It's, it's looking like a decent record now, isn't it? Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.